The Hopkinton Growth Study Committee hosted their second public forum at the Hopkinton Senior Center. Chuck Joseph started off by sharing some of the statistics of growth in Hopkinton. Uh, education budget, how much of the budget? We had 49 million out of 90. People say, oh my God, we're out of control. You look at the other towns around us and you can see their percentage of their budget. 55, 51, 59, 58, 55, 69. So we are not out of the norm. In 1990, we were a town with an enormous amount of open land. We were not built. We were like the last town out. You know, when I coached at the high school and we were in the Tri-Valley League, they used to call us the farm stand. You know, we were out in the farm stand because the other towns closer in had all developed chronologically a little bit earlier. Medfield, Westwood, Holliston, they all developed earlier. And then the growth got out to 495 and between 90 and now is when we've experienced our most significant <laughs> growth. And that growth has gone from about seven, eight thousand to about eighteen. You can see the percentages in ninety-five between that five years it went up seventeen percent. Our big building was between ninety and two thousand when we increased by thirty-five percent. And then it's been fairly consistent but a lot slower since two thousand. The population change at that period, you can see that there's the increase over the previous period is in red and then the percentages are in the, in the blue, and that kind of mirrors the, the whole growth. You can see that it's been very gradual, but very consistent. The number of residential building permits. This is really interesting to me, to most other people, they don't care about this chart. Um, so I'll just kind of point out a couple of things about it that you should be aware of. The green bars represent single family homes, number of permits that are for single family homes. And you can see between 90 and kind of 2003 is when we did most of our single family home development. Uh, from there, you go to the orange charts and you start to see condominiums start coming in. All right, and that began, I don't know, back in 86 when we did Indian Brook and we started doing some other things from there. But then from 2013 on, you see that the green bar is very small. There aren't that many single family homes being built, but you have legacy farms, which is the orange, which is all the condominiums. So the blue, you see two big blue spikes there, one spread out over two years and one in 2016. Those are the apartment complexes that were built in town. In 2012 and 13, those are the apartments at Legacy. And then in 2016, those are the Madeira apartments down behind 110 Grill. The participants then divided up into groups for discussion about their thoughts for what the town needs. So um, the forum today was about the Growth Study Committee has been meeting since the summer of 2019. And we've been trying to just gather a lot of data to get a starting point of what the growth has been, um, how do we compare to other towns, um, what was, what's the history of the growth and where are we, you know, what's the expected growth. And we want to share the data that we've learned with the residents and get their feedback. And then we're going to go back and do more work and hopefully make some recommendations to the town um, yeah, to the town and the planning board. And we're not really ready to make the recommendations yet, but uh, let's see, but we've been working on that. Um, and we're, we want to we take the feedback back, and um, we probably will continue working for another couple of years because it's, it's a lot of work to do, and it's hard to get consensus. So anyway, we have a lot of work to do, but we appreciate everyone's feedback. Please feel free to email us or visit the website. Our presentation will be on HCAM and as well. Um, let's see, it'll be on the website, too, if you want to view it at home when you have time. After the group discussion, some idea sharing took place. And, uh, one big question is, is uh, not necessarily providing housing per se, but how can we help seniors stay in their houses? For more information on the Hopkinton Growth Committee, you can visit the town's website at hopkintonma.gov and also be on the lookout for the full public forum airing on HCAM.